Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It is a word. <clears throat> the Lord brought Potiphar's house into my mind. Potiphar's house, his wife. And what he what she tried to do and what she did do for a time to Joseph. There are instances in our lives where we have people who they are like a lion roaming about seeking whom they may devour. They see something in you that they want. And if they cannot have it, if they cannot control it, they will try to destroy it. Right now in the news, there were two sisters, twins in New York. This young man wanted to talk and be with one of the twin sisters. And when she rebuffed him, he killed her. The spirit of Potiphar's wife, if I cannot have you, if I cannot control you, <clears throat> I want your destruction. We can look at Panina and Hannah, Hannah having become the mother of Samuel. Panina and Hannah were the wives of Elkanah. Panina had children. They would go up and honor Yah at the temple and pay homage. But Hannah had no children. She was barren. And Panina loved to throw it in her face and would grieve Hannah. There are people that no matter how much they have, that spirit of jealousy, that rotten to the core spirit, the little that you have, the be it peace of mind, be it a small job, whatever it is, they want it. And if they cannot have it, they are like lions. They use their mouths. They will go after your reputation like Potiphar's wife did when she couldn't have Joseph. She, in attempting to get him to lay with her to commit adultery, when he fled, she had his garment and she used it to tell a lie as she cried out that he attempted to rape her and had him thrown in jail. Here was a man that Yah put in her house. And because Joseph was there, the house was blessed. Joseph, his wisdom, his honoring of Yahuwah made him a good steward. And yet, those exact reasons, the, the anointing on Joseph's face, for some people, your anointing is very attractive. But them not being a spiritual person, they look at your anointing as something that is lascivious in their eyes. They want, they, they find it sexually attractive. They want to control you or they recognize the blessing upon you. And they're like a lion going about seeking whom they may devour how so they will use their words to destroy your reputation. They will go into a house where there's a faithful wife and lay down lies to make the husband think she's an unfaithful wife. They will go amongst friends and family trying to slander her name or his name. But in the midst of things like that, beloved, you hold to Yahuwah, who saves to the utmost, okay? You have people, it doesn't matter, they can be in a high place. And you're just a little small potato. But you're a shiny little small potato because you belong to the great, mighty, all-exalted Yahuwah. And they want that little potato for themselves to do with what they will. But you see, Yah is in the midst of us, beloved. He's in our midst. And he will do above and beyond anything you could ever hope or imagine. He can take you, you who may be in prison right now. 
you who may be working for someone, you will come to see a day like Joseph did. Although he worked in Potiphar's house, Potiphar being the captain of Pharaoh's guard, Joseph ended, being, ended up being second only to Pharaoh in the entire kingdom and empire of Egypt. Although Panina troubled Hannah constantly, Hannah became the mother of Samuel, one of the greatest prophets, whose words never fell to the ground. She became the mother of Samuel, as well as other sons and daughters. Yes, yes, yes. You have people who will come after you. They will be in your family. Joseph's brothers couldn't even speak peaceably to him because the anointing was upon him. It wasn't just because his father loved him. They could not speak peaceably to him. But in the end, it was Joseph that rose up and saved his father's house, as well as all those nations that came into Egypt. It was Hannah's child that was judge over Yashareth in the end. Beloved, you honor Yahuwah. He never lies. He will bring you out and raise you up. When you raise up his word, when you lift up Yeshua HaMashiach, his word, he will draw all men unto you. When you honor and glorify the law, statutes, and commands that he gave you and honor his word, it will draw the truth out of people. No matter how many lies they tell, no matter how many times they slander your name, he will raise you up from a lowly position. They can put you in a fiery furnace using their tongues, but the spirit of the Lord coming in with living waters will quench that fire. Beloved, it is a word as we honor, glorify, and walk in the spirit of the Most High. As we recognize he's in our midst and he has come to check these nations for all they have done. They can call it climate change. They can call it what they will. And many of them now are quoting the word. Many of them now are trying to speak as though they are not amongst those who have done the evils they have done. But the spirit of truth is here, beloved. And the spirit of truth will testify to your spirit, leading you to all truth. It is a word as we glorify, honor, thank, and praise Yahuwah, the exalted one. As we glorify the Lord of hosts and the Lord of saints, thanking him now and forevermore for everything we have. And let nothing in this world blind us to the beauty and the glory of the blessings he has given. As we praise his mighty name, and thank him for his holy word, as well as his Ruach Kakadesh. Lead us, Father, keep the eyes of our spirit open and bless us. Forgive us our sins and let the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach be upon us. Let his word cleanse us, that we may go forth according to thy spirit, thy commands, and thy statutes, now and forevermore until we enter into thy rest, that glorious day. Beloved, it is a word. Shabbat Shalom.